Hello. Hello. Good evening. Good evening. How are you? Very well, and you? Fine. Fine. Thank you. Can you Thank hear you. me well? Yes. Very good. So, hello everyone, and good evening to Carolina Markiewicz and Pascal Piron. First of all, I want to thank the two of you for having accepted to be part of this public program that has been launched two weeks ago with the first interview between Suzanne Cotter, the director of the MUDAM, and Francesco Bonami, curator of the Mi Family project. Today, tonight, I have the honor to interview the two of you as part of this online intervention for the Mi Family Digital uh, project developed by the MUDAM and launched uh, uh, at the end of October. So before we start our conversation, I will give a very short introduction about your work. Uh, Caroline and Pascal, they start collaborating as an artistic uh, duo in uh, 2013 after having had experiences in the fields of theater and philosophy, uh, Carolina, and visual arts and painting, uh, Pascal. Their artistic research, which began with a two-dimensional perspective, has then started to investigate the third dimension, and the relationship between space and image. They start to produce short films focus on the value of the individual and the role of humans in society. They're very much interested in investigating the social, cultural, and political questions that arise from the migration effect that is modifying the social dynamics of our generation. They base their projects on the historic events that have changed the horizons of society today. And they're still changing, of course, our society. In regards to historic events, I want to start talking with you about the impact in our society of the new technologies the new medias, the artificial intelligence, and the virtual reality. You have worked already a lot with virtual reality, and I'm thinking about three important works of yours, Poutin de Facteur Humain, that has been installed uh, last year at the uh, CNA, Sublimation, and uh, Fever. And these are all, um, let's say, interactive uh, reality virtual experience. Um, now, I would like to focus on my first question. And my first question is, how much do you think the uh, virtual and digital environment and virtual medias can modify, impact, and change our life, and especially the art world in your perspective as artist? Um, so I think it will, it already has a big impact, as we are seeing right now with the exhibition, Me Family which is an online platform. And I think um, these kind of experiences will be slowly more and more integrated into the normal uh, artist, artistic experience. We were participating at a film festival last weekend where we were only, it was only online and it was virtual. So you could walk around there and interact with people. And it was uh, kind of fun. And I think, um, rather than uh, modify reality or change it uh, from what it was to something else, there will be a new layer. It will add something. I don't think it will take something away. So it, it's not a change in, in, in the sense of replacing, but it's more like adding something, becoming more. It will be part of the context. And the context is uh, working or dealing with uh, new technologies. Uh, like education does already, but also I think art and uh, it's 
pretty much important to uh, uh, yes to to think that physical experiences are still the most important experiences in art, but uh, a virtual experience can give something else and uh, like in in the platform here in the in the online exhibition me family mm -hmm. there is a very interesting uh, interaction and this uh, noise you you were uh, looking for is really present and this noise is uh, uh, of course part of our reality so it doesn't replace it it gives another staging let's say of uh, art so do you think that the, the reality as we are facing today, especially in this particular moment uh, where we are all facing a different situation, uh, considering the pandemic, where we are all have been locked down for a while and now we are anyway uh, dealing with, the, with reality in a different way. So do you think that the art world uh, will react to this in a different way, in a positive way? Uh, how the art world can, uh, let's say, challenge this new reality? Um, the first, I think, everybody who uh, reacts in a positive way in this pandemic is doing a great job because yes. um, the idea of changing uh, is not coming from a positive situation where we felt just the need uh, in society to evolve and to change, but it was imposed. So uh, some freedoms and some forms of interaction were taken away and we were forced to change. So there is like... Um, probably a negative emotion connected to the change, which, which is due to the pandemic, but which shouldn't be there, I think. But I think it's uh, for artists, I mean, there's a lot of talk about how uh, the workspace will change with uh, working from home and more online meetings and less traveling. And I think this is uh, something that will impact also the art world, not only um, on the level of like exhibitions and, and like the end point of the work, but also in between all the interactions with other artists, maybe more uh, collaborations um, uh, via internet or um, maybe also um, showing your work to collectors or gallerists uh, will become something that will have a new form of exchange mm -hmm. and maybe also uh, from point of view of uh, quantity, there will be more exchange maybe, but also quality. And have you seen that your particular work in the last months, we can say, has changed the way you are working, your process of working, uh, your way of facing also your research uh, and your um, ideas? Did you find a difference Yes, and in our work, there is also, um, there's always this uh, need for uh, focusing on the process. It's much more important than the, the, the finality of it. It's, uh, it's more, more interesting to be in, into the process of, of uh, creating a film, of, of uh, shooting, of writing, of shooting, of working with actors or with, uh, with uh, people who have uh, stories to tell. And so um, this moment, this particular moment, gives much more uh, space for this process to have maybe more time to rewrite things, to rethink things, to learn how to uh, work differently with other people, with uh, other talents, I mean, other technicians, not, not that we are talents, but I mean, that people can, can really have this time to exchange and to find another 
Yeah, I have always the impression that it's only a thing of staging, of like in the theater, you have a different uh, way of presenting a story and uh, virtual uh, experiences, virtual shows, virtual art, uh, or art in a virtual propose is, is part of it and it has to be part of it now. And talking about what you just said, focusing on the process, I'm, I would like now to uh, talk a little bit more in detail about uh, the short video we are presenting on our platform, Me Family, to not be destroyed by the power and the fees that are dated uh, 2018. Um, this uh, film is a result of a of an experience of a residency program you uh, took in Taipei, Taiwan. And um, I, myself, I read this video as a story of humanity. You are talking about uh, our unknown future, our life, of course, uh, through different generation and through a sequence of images, images are always very important for you. The sound is very important for you. And um, I'm uh, very much interested in knowing more also about the choice of this title, the, the choice you made also in presenting this video as a double projection, as we can see on the platform, and also all the different symbolism that we find in the video. I'm thinking about the Chinese mask, the vase as a um, container of values of uh, important meanings of all the generation you're talking about uh, in the video. Um, and um, yes, I would like to know a little bit more about not only the process, but also the result of the film. Mm -hmm. So, um... Yes, we of course are very happy because uh, to to show this uh, this uh, video in on the on, on the platform because it's a very important uh, moment in our um, process of being artists. This uh, uh, meeting with Taipei, meeting with uh, uh, Taiwan and and its history, and uh, we had a lot of. Uh, research done about this and we were trying to find something which relates uh, Taipei to our condition or our stories and uh, the title was um, provoked by the writing of the text and the text was uh, provoked by, by probably also by Chinese language mm -hmm. Even if we wrote the text in English and in French, we al always write in two uh, languages, we had already the, the sound of, of Chinese. And uh, so the title is something like, um, like a key to understand something. And the something is uh, the culture, which is transported from one, po one point into the other. Uh, here, the collection of uh, all the Chinese di dynasties who were transported during uh, the war between Mao Zedong and Chiang Kai-shek. Uh, was it stolen? Was it put in, in, in the regard of protection? Mm -hmm. We cannot, we, we don't want to say, we don't know, but it's like the, the, the change of, the constant change of culture which is brought by powder and by fists, by war and by traces. So, uh, and the result is uh, a double projection because we had a lot to say also, of course. I think, and a lot to, to, it's a condensation of an extremely intense uh, encounter with people first and with uh, the context of uh, Taiwan and Taipei in particular. Yes, for me it was the first time in Taiwan or, or in Asia. And um, I mean, it's this process when you're coming to a complete new environment 
there are two things um, the place you go to and the place you come from and the way you encounter and the way you understand where you are going um, it's a, a fine line of interaction between what you bring with yourself your culture and your way of seeing the world and the way how the, the world is presented to you so you cannot just impose your way of looking on this because it would be uh, the, the view of the colonization and you but you still have to have your point of perspective or you wouldn't understand anything and I, and 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 the video is kind of a result of this experience also. So the two videos are also like a dialogue where you have um, narration and two types of images, two ways of seeing the same situation. Yes, so we can, um, we can say that how much are important than images, languages, sound again for you in order to summarize uh, all these uh, values, meanings, uh, cultural um, elements that are part of different words, nation, history, and historic events. So I want to thank you for this uh, brief but very intense explanation about your work and especially for participating to our project and to our platform. And, <laughs> and um, please invite all of your friends and colleagues to visit our platform and of course, your fantastic video. Thank you, Carolina. Thank you, Pascal. Thank, Thank you, Emanuela. Thank you very much. Ciao. Ciao. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.